Hi everyone, Drini here and welcome to my channel. So I'm just going to do an advanced video of THG because things will be busy for me tomorrow so I may not be able to provide an update. And I also think that this is the perfect time to make a video about THG because oh boy, when you think THG is down and out, there you go. But before we continue, let's take a recap of what we said the last time, okay? The other thing to note is if we lay our Fibonacci from the bottom, from the top and the bottom right here, our EMAs coincide nicely with the 1.272 right here. So in future candles, this is going to be our test of support now. This 1.272 right here. And hopefully we bounce off from here. Why do we keep saying that we will bounce off from here? That is because if you're a first timer here in, in my channel, then we have identified that we are currently undergoing a five wave Elliott wave structure where this is your wave one right here. This is your wave two. This is your wave three. And now we are currently undergoing a wave four before our eventual destination somewhere in the future. And there you go. So let's dive into the charts to see what we can see. So looking at the HG on a daily time frame, while we have bounced back violently, I know that most of you are probably breathing sighs of relief. While, of course, that's a natural reaction that you may have, this is also the perfect time to really understand how we bounce back instead of just being happy that we bounce back. Because remember, THG is still a young token, so we still have to get to know how it works so that we can be better informed of how it will be traded in the future. For example, in my previous video, we did mention that there was a potential to go lower because we identified RSI levels that we can potentially go to using previous history. So we identified this, for example. So we identified this RSI level as the potential support. And we had a backup RSI level of this as a potential support on a four hour. Why was that? Because historically, this was the identified sort of bottoms before we continued up. So the RSI that we associated with it was our guess that THG hopefully will just bounce back from there. Unfortunately, we were wrong because the RSI support didn't come from the 4-hour. The RSI support came from the daily. What do I mean by that? This was the RSI support that it bounced back from. So that's something that we need to account for when we look at THG in the future as we go through subsequent waves and as we go through the subsequent corrections from there. There are a couple of more encouraging signs that we will continue our bullish ways. One is if you look at the stochastic RSI right here, we are on our way down. So if we are continuing our bullish ascent from here to our wave 5 destination, expect that this will bounce up. So there's a lot of room to grow from a stock RSI perspective. There's also a lot of room to grow from an RSI perspective right here because at the moment we have bounced off. Hopefully we continue from here. Zooming in on the 4 hourly time frame, what we can see here is our break coincided with the structural break right here. Right now, we have broken past the EMAs once again, and we have back-tested this as support now. So this is very healthy. This red candle is very healthy because one, you want the price action to not go to space like this. Because remember guys, the last time we did that, when I zoom in on the daily time frame, the last time we did that, where we just blasted past into space, we left the EMAs behind. Look at what happened after. A lot of you were sweating buckets before our eventual continuation to the upside. So the fact that you have this candle for support, you want this to happen because you have an entry opportunity right here. So now that we know that we're back in an uptrend, where could potentially wave 5 be? So one rule about the Elliott waves is if you lay down your waves, and this is your wave 1 for example, I will treat this as wave 2. And then this is our massive run up for wave 3 before our subsequent drop of wave 4 and we don't know where wave 5 is. The trick with Elliott waves is wave 3 in a 5 wave structure is typically the longest wave. So let's say if this is the wave 2 low right here before the subsequent run up to wave 3, the wave 5 typically is at maximum equal to wave 3 or slightly less. So the way we can sort of picture that is if we copy the candles of our wave 3. So this is the start of the wave 3 all the way here. If we overlay that, let's say, around here, we can start to map out our targets. So at the end of this run-up would be basically the same length as the wave 3 right here. Our wave 5 will end 
slightly below the 1618 of $32. This is assuming, of course, that we have a very strong run up. If we fall short, so at least now we have a target. If we fall short, then we have a few more targets to aim for. The 1414 then would be another target because it's less than the wave 3. The 1272 would be another target that you can aim for. And of course, the 1 would probably be the most conservative estimate, which is around $22, same as the high of wave 3. So if you're new to the channel, if you just watched my video now on THG, you would probably be wondering, wait, is this it? Is this the final destination of THG? Of course not. The, the price targets that we have identified here are the price targets for this particular structure right here. It doesn't mean that THG will not go up from here. However, one thing to note though is once we make our subsequent move to our wave 5, whichever it may be, whichever price targets it may be, what follows after a wave 5, we will now have an ABC correction sometime in the future because you can't go up forever. Eventually, you would have to have a significant correction to the downside. Right now, it's very hard to estimate how big will it be, what the magnitude is, as well as how low it's going to go. Because of course, we haven't even started our march to our wave 5. Once we get close to the wave 5 structure, once we start really building this up, then we would start to try to figure out how low the ABC correction can be because it's really hard for now. It will really depend on how, where the EMAs land up. So for example, if the EMAs are close or are the EMAs far, will it be a slow run up to wave five or will we just blast off with a couple of candles to the wave five? It's a bit tricky for now. So at the end of the day, for those of you who were worried, for those of you who were buying the run up right here, you can breathe a sigh of relief right now because once again, we have back tested key support areas and we are going to continue moving forward from here. If you like my video, please like and subscribe, hit the notification bell. Also, let me know what you think in the comments. If you also have other gaming cryptos that you would like me to look at, just leave it down in the comments below and I'll take a look at it in the future. Until then, take care everyone. Bye-bye.